All right, all right, all right. Back by popular demand, another Justin Popovich demo video. Late night when you need my love. And I know when that outline bling. That can only mean one thing. All right, who am I kidding? There was no popular demand for a demo video from me. Uh, but I think this will be of value to you. Now, um, what I've got here is I'm going I'm to do a few things. I'm going to, first of all, show you this marketing consultant PLR fire sale that's running for the next few days. Uh, I'm going to start by buying a copy, first of all, because uh, even though as an affiliate of Drew on this page uh, and I have access to the content, I want to buy a copy just because it's ridiculously huge amount of content and I want to support his launch. Uh, and I want to rightfully own the copy. I don't want to just be given. I want to earn my PLR that I'm going to use here. And now uh, after that, what I want to do is actually show you how I plan to use some of this content. And what you'll see here is that the, the sale is actually bigger than my plans for use with it, which is okay. I don't plan to use the whole package. That's cool. The deal is so good. And, I, and I'm sure you've done this before. I do it from time to time as well. Uh, if I see even just a piece of content, especially when it comes to PLR, uh, if I can just use it, I'll get a return on my investment. The, this one is like, you know, it's, it's the price of, it's cheaper than outsourcing an article, really. So I'm going to grab it, uh, and I have some specific plans for it, and then show you exactly um, one scenario anyways of how I plan to use it. But also, uh, it'll show you a little behind the scenes of how I like to kind of work a content creation uh, strategy slash Justin mastermind behind the scenes. Just as somebody like myself, I've been creating content day in and day out now for like six, seven years as a as one of the main engines for marketing my business. So uh, I've gotten pretty quick at it. I have certain methods that I like to use. And maybe if you're newer to this or don't do it as often as me, seeing me in action might help you a little bit. Plus, you can see how I take some PLR and put it to use. Fair enough. All right. So uh, to prove I'm going to buy this, let me actually show, uh, pull up the deal here. And I'm going to scroll all the way to the bottom and buy it. So it's on JVZoo. And I'm probably going to skip this part of it here. Yeah, I'm going to because I don't want you to see all my details. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and buy it. And then I will show you my receipt when I'm done. All right, here we are. Uh, proof of purchase. For you. <laughs> uh, just going to zoom it in here. So I, I grabbed it and then the, um, the download is here. I should also mention as well for the uh, uninformed that I, I used a separate browser because I had been testing my own affiliate link since I'm an affiliate. I use a separate browser, so I'm not purchasing through my own affiliate link. Little tip there, kind of etiquette for um, if you are an affiliate of a, of a launch, at least in my opinion, don't buy through your own affiliate link. Buy the, if you want to buy the product, just buy it and let the vendor keep the money for your sale. Um, unless they tell you to buy through your link, that's different. But anyway, so uh, here's how you can access your purchase. I'm not going to do that because I actually already had the content. Uh, what I'm going to do now, and I apologize if you hear it, there's some like crazy... <laughs> crazy machine just outside of my house right now. I don't know what they're doing on the street, but it's inevitable. Anytime I shoot a video, a machine shows up on my street. So um, <laughs> here's what we're going to do. Uh, I'm going to go and grab the content on my hard drive, display it to you in a, in a, a way that's easier for you to read. Uh, and then we will take it from there. Okay. I'm hoping you can see this. Okay. Um, when you go to Drew's sales page, you can look through it. There's two main components to his offer. I'm only going to be using the second component. The first one was really kind of out of my realm of what I do in my business. It was really geared towards marketing consultants. The second piece, though, was a ton of different articles in written format, audio format, video format, and slide deck, slide deck format uh, covering a wide array of marketing topics. Again, kind of talking to the offline business crowd, but for the most part, a lot of the tips are universal. Anybody that's doing any kind of branding or marketing online can use these tips and they cover everything. Facebook, SEO, Google, video marketing, uh, social media marketing, you name it. Okay, so here is sort of the scenario that one of the scenarios that I have in my business. As a PLR seller, I have two different membership sites. Uh, and we do a lot of different individual PLR deals. But for the most part, uh, our customers are uh, either offline or online business owners looking for help with their content. And they come to us for pre-made content, but they also end up asking a lot of questions. So for example, somebody might buy a package from us, a PLR package from us, 
uh, that teaches one of our recent ones was a graphic design package, right? So they'll buy that and then they'll, they'll create their own info product uh, for their customers to learn graphic design. They might have some questions for us on, well, I've got this graphic design ebook I want to sell. How do I promote it? How do I get people to know about it on social media? Uh, if I want to do some video marketing to let people know what's included, how do I do all of that? So I might, uh, from time to time, create some different training videos that shows people how to use PLR or how to take a PLR package, customize it, and then make a unique creation with it at the end. Maybe if you're on my list, you've seen me do this before. I do it quite a bit. Um, a lot of the times I'll create my training content straight out of my head, but in some cases I like to start with some kind of starting point, a baseline and PLR, I might as well use it, right? I'm a PLR seller, so I, should, I certainly believe in PLR. So I do use it from time to time. Now, here's an example I'm going to show you here. I'm kind of just running with this one. I don't know what the final shape of this is going to be, but you'll get the idea. I've got all of these articles from Drew's pack. Uh, there's like 160 or so. And what I'm going to do here is search the, uh, I, I put them all into one giant folder here. So you can see them all 160 there, whatever the number is. And I'm going to search for the word video here and put together like a little video marketing uh, tip sheet. Okay, so let me just grab, I'm just searching the specific folder and I've got to kind of adjust it so you can see. Um, let me make it a little bit bigger. I apologize for this, but just kind of want to show you these things on the fly. Okay, so here are um, a handful of articles where the word video is being mentioned. Now, um, let's say as an example, I'm just kind of thinking of this as I go. Um, let's say, for example, that I want to pull together some of my best tips for video marketing. Video marketing is something I do a lot of. Uh, most of my special offers have a video at the top where I'll do a demo, I'll explain the value. Um, I believe strongly in video marketing because if you're a product seller, um, then you should get, get on video, at least in my opinion, and explain to people why they should buy it. And if they're, or if, if they, maybe if they shouldn't in some cases, but kind of, it shows confidence, it shows that you believe in what you do. Uh, but it also allows that, uh, web visitor to kind of make a little bit more of a connection with you. Otherwise, you're just a website with a, an offer on it, whereas a video, a little, little bit more of a, a, a deep connection there. So I think it's very important. Uh, I'd like to give some of my customers tips on uh, why video marketing is important, some things to know about video marketing and so on. Uh, clearly, I believe in it. So I could start here and go through these articles and just pull out some random tips. So I'm going to do I'm going to do that right now. So that now in this case, all of the results on this page, the word video might be in the title of the article or in the body of the article. So not all of them are going to apply. I'm going to have to kind of pick and choose the results here to formulate uh, what's going to be a tip sheet on video marketing. So my goal is let's create a tip sheet or a, a document where I'm going to have some really cool video marketing tips, but I don't want to write them from scratch. I'm going to borrow them from this PLR collection here and then I'll enhance it later on. So let me start scrolling through here and find some stuff. So um, let's see here. First one that kind of pops out an introduction to social video marketing. Uh, let's open up this one. So, um, you won't necessarily be able to see all the text, but, uh, I, I see, okay. It's talking about what social video marketing is not, uh, what social video marketing is. So, um, you can see there's a few, you, you'll see this sometimes cause I'm on a Mac. Um, it did it, some of the characters got a little messed up there. So I'll have to correct them. Let me just grab it here though. So there's a bunch of things that explain what social video marketing is. Um, I'm going to go right to here and to copy that and start a new document. Now I'm using pages, which is uh, word processing on the Mac. You could do this in word and I'm going to paste my first tip here on social video marketing. You can see that little funny character that came over. I'll just correct it. Um, so here's my first tip. What is social video marketing? There's no order here, by the way. I'm just putting together a bunch of tips on various video marketing stuff. Okay, so I'm gonna, here are just a few things that define social video marketing. I'm gonna put those into bullet points. Okay. Fix a few more of the errors here. All right. Now, I don't want to continue on um, 
making you watch me type on my keyboard. Um, but you get the idea, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this pages document as sort of my rough draft, working draft, uh, first version, if you wanna call it that. Uh, and I'm gonna go through all of the articles that I've done a search for here on my hard drive and pull out a bunch of different tips related to video marketing. Again, with my intention being, let's come up with one, two, three pages or so uh, of, a, of a working document that I can eventually merge and mold into a little video marketing tip sheet uh, where I'll get a bunch of tips from PLR, I'll add my own little context probably at the beginning of the document and I'll probably shoot a little video to make it consistent since it's talking about video marketing. Uh, and I'll have a really good piece of training content specifically for my crowd in my voice in the way that I want to share it. Again, my customers are PLR buyers. Uh, somebody else using this, maybe you sell something different. You could do the exact same thing or the same concept, but tailor it to your audience. So I'm going to go ahead off camera right now and put together a little bit more of a detailed document and come back and show you what I've built. Okay, so I did some work behind the scenes there and Effectively, what I did was, again, with not really much of a plan, I went through the PLR, article, PLR articles and found a bunch of tips that I thought were kind of cool that I, want, I knew I could expand on, would kind of enhance the message, plus it's stuff that I know works, and I just didn't have to write it from scratch. Somebody else wrote it, but the, the information is still relevant, whether I wrote it or someone else, right? So that's, uh, that's why I love PLR. So here's, just so you can see what I put into this, this is definitely not in its final form. But within, I don't know, 15 minutes here, I've got a pretty workable document that could easily become a training item. So I grabbed um, my, some cool tips here. The first one is put a quirky twist into your message. Uh, and here's a paragraph explaining that. Uh, eight important ways to optimize your videos in a video sharing site. So this would be something like YouTube, right? Um, title tags, description, comments, tra um, driving traffic to the videos. Here's that little piece on social video marketing I did earlier. Um, how to get your YouTube viewers to take action. So here's some little uh, steps, those suggestions that people could do. And by the way, a lot, a lot of these articles were written in the context of your local business or your small offline business. So in those cases, because a lot of my customers are not local small business owners, they're online business owners, uh, I just took out the words small, small and local and then it applied because again, these tips work for anybody that's doing online branding. That's why I like this PLR. Uh, next section here, video marketing success stories. This was awesome. Uh, these were all kind of offline businesses, but it didn't matter because um, these were just success stories of how video marketing worked for a company to get more customers. Whether you sell off of a blog or out of a storefront, you'll be interested to learn this and to hear these stories. And I didn't have to go and do the research or write about it. So that was pretty cool. Um, quick tips for creating outstanding videos for your business. Uh, and then I think there was nine of them in total. And there we have about a 1500, just more, a little bit more than that, 1500 word document. Uh, I will probably use all of those bolded sections that I showed you as kind of ch chapters or sub chapters and I'll organize it after the fact, uh, maybe add a few more of my own tips and have a little vid, like a little, you know, kind of video marketing tip sheet. I can put that up as a member training item in both of my membership sites. Uh, it's a value add over and above, right? You, you know, you're paying for a membership every month. We're delivering PLR. Oh, and by the way, we also have some new training for you. Uh, if you're using your PLR to create video products, or if you're using PLR to create products that you're selling online and want to use video marketing, check out this tip sheet of some important things you should be doing when it comes to video marketing. So in a matter of, like I said earlier, 15 or 20 minutes, I've got effectively 80% of the work done here for a, a training guide that I can now use in my membership. I could use it as branding later on. I could use it as a free giveaway. Uh, I like to do sometimes something called contextual opt-in list building, where I'll put, maybe I'll put part of this document on a blog post and then I'll ask for an opt-in and uh, send the rest of this information via uh, email once they sign up for my list. This document could be used for that as well. So there's a lot of different purposes here, uh, but it's a really solid piece of content. By the way, one final thing I'll mention here, if I um, show you in, in pages, this also works in Word, but on Mac pages, they have some really cool, um, uh, where is it here, newsletter templates. So I could take all this plain text that I've been showing you and fire it into this kind of template. And that would look really nice, right? That this could be like a little viral doc or report that I share online. Uh, and instead of it being just plain text about video, I would merge it into this nice looking theme and format. 
at, at this point in my business, I'd rather, I'd probably just outsource this step, uh, but you could quickly do it as well. Like it wouldn't take you all that long if you're not at a phase or a step in your business right now where you could afford to do the outsourcing of that. It doesn't take all that long to in nice in it. I don't know what the word would be. Just make it look nicer uh, and deliver it in a nice format like this. So keep that in mind as well, because uh, you're going from, you know, raw PLR to something unique uh, that's in a text format to something really nice and presentable. And very often the way you package your content and your information is just as important, if not more important in some cases in the actual content itself. People like aesthetically pleasing things. I'm working on a MacBook right now. I like the way my MacBook looks and feels and my iPhone and stuff like that. So uh, final tip there. Anyways, so hopefully this example works for you. It, it shows how um, I can take a PLR deal where it's really, it's for marketing consultants, which I'm not, uh, and I'm still able to use a ton of the content in there. And I only showed you examples of the, of the text articles. The PLR pack that I bought also includes video and slide decks, like hundreds of them or multiple, like a hundred plus. Uh, that's a lot of content that I can use in multiple formats. So keep all of that in mind. It's a great way to get a ton of value out of a, in my opinion, really super small investment, uh, less than I'd pay a, an outsourcer to write an article or two for me. So in my opinion, great investment here. So hopefully this example helps you. Let me know if you have any questions and thanks for watching.